Face reading. Cerebral arteriosclerosis. Cerebral arteriosclerosis is diffuse art atherosclerosis of the cerebral arteries on the basis of systematic arteriosclerosis. It is characterized by the stenosis of the arteries, blockage of the small blood vessels, and reduced blood supply to the brain, all of which result in a series of neurological and mental symptoms. Cerebral arteriosclerosis is clinically manifested as lightheadedness, headache, memory deterioration, mood swings, slow thinking, and sleep problems. The condition is mostly found in the middle-aged and the elderly. The pathogenesis is still unclear. In clinical practice, it has, found, it has been found that it is more often a complication associated with patients with underlying condi conditions such as hypertension, hyperlipidi hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. The face reading, as seen in the pictures below, raised, twisted blue veins are seen on the temples. There are evident wrinkles on the earlobes and blood spots on the whites of the eyes. All these suggest higher than normal blood lipid levels, poor blood circulation, internal obstruction by turbid phlegm, and poor fluid flow in the body resulting in a red tongue texture, dry and dull looking, and a thick yellow tongue coating. Therapeutic methods. Lead a regular life. Consume an appetite di appropriate diet. Persevere in physical exercise and maintain emotional stability. Frequent massage for patients can relax the muscle and clear the meridians to promote blood circulation. Dietary advice. The diet should be light and low in salt. Eat foods high in protein to avoid hardening of the blood vessels. Reduce meat intake. The elderly should avoid liquor. Exercise. Do some exercise within your capacity, such as walking, gymnastics, tai chi, or traveling. These activities can facilitate the circulation of chi and blood and enhance your physical fitness. Emotional adjustments. We must avoid mental stress and mood swings to reduce the occurrence of cerebral vasospasm. Make sure you may maintain a balance between work and rest, lead a regular life, and maintain emotional stability. Medicinal diet therapy. Chinese wolfberries and egg custard. Two eggs, Chinese wolfberries, about 600 grams, and salt. Beat the eggs in a bowl and add the Chinese wolfberries. Add appropriate amount of water and salt and mix well. Steam the mixture in a pot. Chinese wolfberries have properties that fight aging, arteriosclerosis, and hyperlipidemia. This custard is especially suitable for the elderly. Massage. So we must press the naguan point with the tip of your thumb for one to three minutes three to five times a day to replenish chi and promote blood circulation. Remove blood stasis and dredge the collaterals to prevent arteriosclerosis, as seen in the picture above. Press and knead the Shenman point for one to two minutes with a pad of your thumb, three to five times a day. The massage calms the nerves and improves the symptoms of insomnia and headaches caused by the cerebral arteriosclerosis. Thank you for your attention. Let's talk about potency, sexual desire, and fertility. Interviewing. Potency and sexual desire is influenced not only by the kidney jing and kidney yang, but also by other physiological and pathological factors. In order to create and maintain an erection, chi and blood must flow out into the penis. This requires that there is sufficient chi and blood and that these are not inhibited in their movement. The man's shen should be in harmony so that it can focus on his sexual desire. Heart fire travels down through Chong Mai to the penis, manifesting with a sensation of heat in the penis. Finally, kidney yang sends kidney ching through the penis resulting in an ejaculation. 
Kidney yang governs a functional activity involved in an erection. At the same time, sexual desire or arousal is dependent on the kidney yang. Heart chi deficiency and liver chi stagnation can also manifest with a weak libido due to either a general lack of passion or a tendency to suppress emotions. A person with heart chi deficiency will often be timid and nervous, which can affect their ability to achieve or maintain an erection. Liver yin and thereby, to a certain degree, liver blood shares a common root with kidney yin. This means that kidney yin deficiency can affect the liver's ability to supply the penis with blood and thereby the ability to create an erection. Kidney jing influences a person's reproductive ability. This manifests mainly in their sperm count and the quality of sperm, but it, is also it, but it also influences the volume of the semen. The liver has several functions in relation to an erection. The penis itself is conceived as, of as being a tendon in Chinese medicine and thereby under the influence of the liver organ, which nourishes and controls the tendons. The liver channel traverses the genitals. Furthermore, the liver ensures that there is enough blood to fill, to fill the penis so that it becomes rigid. Liver chi also ensures that chi and blood flow out into the penis. This is evident when periods of stress, frustration, or anger affect some men's ability to achieve an erection. The heart governs blood in general, and during an erection, the heart sends blood down to the penis. An erection is also dependent on the heart fire being sent down through Chong Mai to the, pen, to the penis. It is therefore important that a person's shen is harmonious. A typical example of an unsettled shen affecting the erection is seen when a man has, perf has performance anxiety. Kidney yin deficiency and heart deficiency conditions can also manifest in a man being able to achieve but not maintain an erection, with the penis quickly becoming limp. The stomach and spleen ensure that there is a sufficient production of chi and blood. A chi stagnation condition in these organs could lead to there not being enough chi and blood to create an erection or to nourish the penis, which is a tendon, so it becomes weak and limp. Damp heat can block the movement of chi and blood in the genitals. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss the Han Yang Ming Large Intestine Meridian with acupuncture point Yang Chi or Yang Stream. LI5 or Yang Chi is located over the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist joint between the tendons of extensor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. It is the fire point and the Jing River point of the Li meridian. Yang stream as the fire point of the large intestine carries the purifying and animating aspect of fire to help revitalize the large intestine. When the world has lost its shine for someone, or if they are preoccupied with self-cleansing or feel unworthy of good things happening to them, the uplifting and emanating aspect of fire within the large intestine can admit some light into the dark blue. The influence of fire can help the large intestine reassess what is of value and nourishment and keep its functioning at the correct temperature. To cold and metal can be frigid in demeanor, too hot and there is agitation and possibly constipation. The natural flickering, flickering movement of fire helps counter the downward movement of the large intestine. It lifts the spirit and helps it maintain connection with its purpose and with the Shen. Good with Li4, the great eliminator for its purifying and eliminating qualities. Severe imbalance to the Po and Shen arising from disharmony in metal, particularly heat in the large intestine, can lead some people to feel disconnected from their own body, unreal, or to see ghosts or become manic. As the fire point and Jing River point, Yang Stream clears heat to reestablish the calm environment needed for the Shen to rest in the heart and help the person feel re-embodied and less agitated. 
In this way, it calms the spirit. It has similar properties to Li4 in expelling wind heat and releasing the exterior, but is less frequently used as Li4 is more powerful. As a Jing River point, where the Qi is said to be flowing along like a river, it can be used for clearing heat generally from the large intestine and its partner in Yang Mi, the stomach, as well as from its metal element partner, the lung, and is used to clear heat or wind heat from the skin or blood. As a Jing River point, it will help clear pain and stagnation in the hand and wrists, especially if there is heat involved. LA5 is indicated to lift the spirit and clear the mind, and also for skin disorders involving wind heat and wrist pain. This often neglected point can have a remarkable effect on certain mental disorders. It is said to be helpful for people who see ghosts in the spirit when it is commonly sedated. Also for mad people who want to throw off their clothes, often used together with LI4 for the purifying and eliminating effects considered for tinnitus, deafness, skin disorders, incoherent speech, stuttering, pain, arthritis of the hand, thumb, or wrist. This point can also be used to warm or cold or inert metal constitutional factors. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss differential diagnosis, Western and Chinese medicine, rhinitis. An inflammation of the nasal mucosa. Signs and symptoms, excessive mucus production, congestion, sneezing, paroxysm, water, watery eyes, nasal and ocular pruritis. Number one, allergic rhinitis. Associated symptoms are fatigue, malaise, headache, symptoms usually develop before age 20. Family history, allergic shiners, Shiners, blue, gray, or purple discoloration under the lower eyelids, mouth breathing conjunctivitis. Letter A, co comorbidity with asthma, eczema, chronic sinusitis. Letter B, differential diagnosis, occupational rhinitis, exposure to ir irritants and allergens including laboratory animals, grains, coffee beans, wood dust, tobacco, smoke, cold air, formaldehyde, hairspray. Second, perennial rhinitis. Allergens may include molds, spores, dust mites, animal dander. Third, seasonal rhinitis. Allergens may include plant, grass pollens, and mold spores. Number two, non-allergic rhinitis. Associated symptoms are post-nasal discharge, Enlarged tonsils, perennial symptoms, symptoms aggravated by irritant exposure and weather changes, and usually there's no family history. Letter A, infectious rhinitis, acute viral or chronic rhinosinusitis, accompanied by lymphadenopathy, normally self-limiting. Letter B, hormone-induced rhinitis, hypothyroidism, menstrual cycle, oral contraceptives, pregnancy. Letter C, occupational rhinitis. Letter D, vasomotor rhinitis, temperature changes, humidity, alcohol ingestion, odors. Letter E, gustatory rhinitis, particularly hot and spicy food. F, atro atropic rhinitis. Letter G, drug-induced rhinitis, anti Hypertensive medications, aspirin, and said oral contraceptives, rhinitis, medic, camentosa. H, other types include rhinitis form, emotions, exercise, posture, primary ciliary dyskinesia, reflux, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Chinese differential differentiation rhinitis, diagnostic questioning according to number one, organ interrelationship in chronic condition, lungs, kidney, spleen, three fluid organ involved. Letter A, weak mental, fails to engender water via Sheng cycle. Letter B, weak earth, 
fails to dump water via gas cycle. Letter C, weak kidney fails to brush lung chi. Letter D, lung, spleen, lung connected via sheng cycle, tai yin, greater yin. Letter E, deficiency of lung and kidney leads to weakness of defensive chi. Defensive chi rooted in kidney yang and distributed over body by lung chi. Number two, nature of wind in acute attack. Letter A, wind cold, sneezing, profuse runny nose with white watery discharge, no thirst. Letter B, wind heat, itchy throat, red itchy eyes, slight thirst. Number three, symptoms, seasonal uh, wind with fatigue and lethargy, tendency to catch cold, chi deficiency, poor appetite and loose tools, spleen chi deficiency, symptoms worse at night, dyspnea on exertion, which is kidney deficiency, severe recalcitrant symptoms, which is blood stasis. Number four, emotions, unexpressed grief, fear, excessive thinking and worry, repressed anger, frustration, insulting cycle, wood insults metal. Number five, some who patterns, excess wind heat invading the lung, wind cold invading the lung, liver fire insulting the lung, blood stasis. For deficiency, kidney yin or yang deficiency, lung chi deficiency with retained wind, spleen chi deficiency with phlegm. Thank you for your attention. Let us now talk about olfaction. Olfaction is a diagnostic method applies to the breath, sweat, sputum and saliva, nasal discharge, urine and feces, vaginal discharge, and the odor of the patient's sick room. The following are three very common types of abnormal odors. First is fetid odor. This suggests an illness due to the strength of the disease evil, usually heat or dampness heat. If the odor comes from the mouth or vomitus, it is mostly due to heat in the stomach. If the odor emanates from the body, consider the possibility of gangrene. If it comes from the feces accompanied by abdominal pain and a rapid pulse, it is due to dampness heat in the large intestine moving downward. In a woman, if the odor comes from vaginal discharge that is yellow-green with red streaks, it is uterine putrefaction. This is often seen in cancer of the uterus. The next is fish stench odor. The fish stench odor is usually found in internal abscesses and illnesses of cold dampness and deficiency cold. Bloody and purulent sputum with fish stench odor is due to lung abscess. Vomitus with blood and pus and fish stench odor is due to stomach abscess. Loose feces with fish stench odor are due to deficiency cold of the spleen and the stomach. Vaginal discharge with a fish stench odor that contains much white curds is due to downward flow of cold dampness. And third is specific odors. In certain illnesses, patients may emit certain specific odors. Appreciation of such odors assists in their diagnosis. For example, a rotten apple odor in the patient's mouth or body is a characteristic of diabetes. A urine-like body odor indicates interior attack by water chi or severe water retention. This is a danger sign of imminent collapse of chi of the visceral organs and especially common in loss of kidney functions and uremia. An odor of alcohol in the mouth and nose is usually due to indulgence in alcohol or internal accumulation of dampness heat. An odor of blood in the sick room indicates that the patient has had massive blood loss such as hemoptysis, hematemesis, hematochesia, and postpartum hemorrhage. Thank you so much for your attention. Let's now proceed to diagnosis according to Zangfu organ patterns with the topic Etiology of Liver Imbalances, Part 2. The liver organ is not particularly vulnerable to invasions of exogenous pathogenic chi, yet climatic wind, which resonates with the wood phase, can have an effect on the liver. Exposure to the wind can cause the eyes, which are controlled by the liver, to water. People with liver imbalances can be more irritable when there are strong winds. Some even claim that the rate of homicides rises when the Ciroc wind blows in Spain. The resonance between wind and the liver can be seen in the liver imbalances that can result in internally generated wind. Here, the wind can be a symptom that the liver is out of balance as opposed to an etiological factor. 
Even though the liver organ is particularly vulnerable to exogenous invasions of pathogenic qi, the liver channel can be invaded by dampness and cold. This can happen if a person has walked around barefoot and cold in damp surfaces or has worn insufficient clothing or shoes on their legs and feet. Although it is the sour taste that resonates with the liver, food and beverages that are energetically hot are most often an etiological factor in liver imbalances. Unfortunately, many people with liver imbalances are often attracted to things such as alcohol and hot spices because their spicy flavor will spread stagnant liver qi. The problem is that they also have a hot energy and this will create heat in the liver. Alcohol is particularly bad because as well as being energetically hot, it often has a sour flavor that will lead the heat directly to the liver. This is seen, for example, in red when triggers a migraine in people who have a tendency to have ascending liver yang or liver fire. It is also why people can get loud, resonant voice, or become aggressive when they drink alcohol. Consuming food that produces dampness, especially if it's also warm or hot in its energy, can create damp heat in the liver. The diet can also result in deficiency imbalances in the liver. This is seen if the diet does not contain sufficient blood nourishing foods, resulting in person becoming liver blood deficient. Liver blood will also be weakened when blood is lost through heavy menstrual bleeding, childbirth, surgery, and physical trauma. The liver has, by virtue of its cheese spreading function, an important influence on other organs in the body. Liver cheese stagnation can often be an etiological factor in the generation of other imbalances in other organs, but the liver is also negatively affected by imbalances in other organs. A vicious cycle can arise when the imbalances in the orga various organs eventually become self-generating. For example, liver cheese stagnation can disrupt the spleen in its functioning. This can result in a diminished production of blood, leading to the liver becoming blood deficient. Liver blood deficiency can then result in the liver becoming stiff and rigid and thereby leading to a stagnation of liver chi, which then disrupts the spleen. The spleen then produces less blood, which makes the liver blood deficient and so on. Heat in the body can create blood heat. Because blood is stored in the liver, blood heat can create heat in the liver. The liver and heart cooperate closely in relation to blood, and liver blood deficiency and heart blood deficiency usually manifest together. The Hun and Shen have a close relationship, following each other in their entering and exiting. The lung and liver collaborate in relation to qi. The lung descends qi and spreads qi through the channels and vessels, whilst the liver ensures the free movement of qi in the whole body. Kidney in and liver in have a common root, which means that if there is kidney in deficiency, liver in deficiency will often develop as a consequence and vice versa. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss inspection, diagnostic significance of colors, yellow, white, black. Yellow. A yellow color suggests deficiency of chi and blood or dampness in the body. Yellow is the color of late summer. Its chi is dampness and it is associated with the spleen. If the spleen is weak, it is unable to carry out its transportation function so the chi and blood are not replenished or it is unable to transform fluids so that dampness accumulates internally. Clinical correlates of yellow complexions. Complexion, pale and yellow withered. Associations, pinchy deficiency causing inability to nourish face. For the yellow puppy, 
the association spleen unable to control water so that water supposes uh, skin. Um, entire body yellow, including the sclera, accompanied by vivid orange. The association is young type jaundice, accom accumulation of dampness, heat in the body. For dark, dull yellow, as though smoke, the association is yin type jaundice upon accumulation of cold dampness in the body. White or pallor, a white color suggests deficiency of chi and blood or cold. White is the color of autumn. Its chi is dryness and is associated with the lung. White color or pallor is a sign of insufficient chi and blood so that the face loses its nourishment. A white complexion can can occur in a number of clinical situations when young chi is insufficient so that chi and blood become too weak to flow. When exogenous cold lodges in the meridians causing spasm or when there is a massive bleeding leading to insufficiency of chi and blood. Clinical correlates of white complexion, pale and puffy face, mild pallor, one face pallid accompanied by a sudden onset, profuse cold sweat, severe abdominal pain with rigidity. Association, insufficiency of yang chi, chi deficiency, sudden collapse of yang chi, yin, cold, dealing with constriction of meridians. Next is block. A black complexion suggests deficiency of kidney chi and kidney yang, cold, blood stasis or water retention. Black is the color of winter. Its chi is winter cold and it is associated with the kidney and the urinary bladder. Deficiency of kidney yang causes failure to transform fluids, retention of water, loss of warmth in the meridians causing their constriction and impeded circulation of blood. As a result, the face becomes black. Clinical correlates of black complexions, dark dusky face, cheeks, dark dehydrated face, association, insufficiency of kidney yang, depletion of kidney essence and blazing of fire due to yin deficiency. Dark and rough face, periorbital darkness, <coughs> excuse, the association is blood stasis, kidney insufficiency or water retention, vaginal discharge due to downward flow of cold dampness. Thank you for your attention. Let us now go to epigastric pain. The topic is liver chi stagnation deriving from emotional stress. Let us look at a case history of a 38-year-old woman who had been suffering from epigastric pain for five years. The pain radiated from the epigastrium to the right hypochondrium and was accompanied by a pronounced feeling of distension and belching. She also suffered from difficult bowel movements and the stools were often like small pebbles. She often felt depressed and irritable and found it difficult to establish permanent relationships with the opposite sex. Her periods were regular and normal in all ways, except that she suffered from premenstrual irritability and distension. Her tongue was unremarkable, being only slightly red on the sides, and her pulse was slightly wiry on the left side. Her diagnosis is a clear condition of stagnation of liver chi, obviously deriving from emotional stress. The treatment principle adopted was to move liver chi, eliminate stagnation, promote the descending of stomach chi, calm the mind, and settle the ethereal soul. She was treated with acupuncture and herbs. The acupuncture points used were selected from the following. Pericardium 6 was used with even method to move liver chi, subdue rebellious stomach chi, calm the mind, and settle the ethereal soul. This is an excellent point, especially for women, for stagnation of liver chi, deriving from emotional stress particularly that from relationship difficulties. At the same time, it regulates the upper and middle burner of the stomach and stops epigastric pain. Another point used is stomach 40 with even method to harmonize the stomach and subdue rebellious stomach chi. It combined well with pericardium 6, one on the right and the other on the left, to harmonize the middle burner. REN12 and Stomach 36 with reinforcing method to strengthen the stomach was also used. Stomach 21, REN11 with even method is to promote the descending of stomach chi. 
The last two points used were liver 14 and gallbladder 34, used with even method to promote the free flow of liver chi and to move chi. Gallbladder 34 in combination with REN12 moves chi in the epigastrium. This patient was treated for one year with minor modifications. With the help of some psychological counseling, her epigastric pain disappeared and she became much happier in herself. Thank you so much for your attention.